I'm Alice Bean. I'm a full professor here at KU. I've um, been in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. I came here in 1993 and I've been here ever since teaching and doing research here. So the Large Hadron Collider is a machine that's going to uh, collide protons on protons and it's located near, Gen um, near Geneva, Switzerland. So here's Geneva, Switzerland and here's like the lake over here. Here's the airport. And this collider is a large machine. It's uh, about 16 miles in circumference. And here's like the Jura Mountains are over here. And the lab called CERN is over here. So we got the, um, our detector called CMS is over here. And we're shooting protons on protons at the world's highest energy collisions. We're going to do that. Remember E equals mc squared, Einstein's. Uh, uh, equation there, energy equals mass. So the more energy we can get into these particles colliding together, the smaller distances we can probe and the more mass we can create. And by going to smaller distances and greater energies, we can probe what we think happened at the start of the uh, universe. You have a proton coming here and a proton coming here. In reality, there's like um, 10 to the 11th protons, okay? So you've got these bunches of 10 to the 11 protons. So there's a bunch of protons and a bunch of protons. And if you can um, get them focused enough so that you might get a collision, then they're going to collide. And then we're going to build this huge detector on here. And a person is about like that, okay? So we surround this detector, okay? And it's a huge, it's several stories, several thousand tons, of, you know, one of the largest things ever made. And then we have all these uh, detectors inside to detect stuff. So there's like a big cylinder around here. So if you look at these particles, the first thing they're going to hit, we're get, uh, most of them have an electric charge. And so we build something called a tracking detector. And so we have this tracking detector here. And then there's this giant magnet solenoid that's like right here. And what is this solenoid? This solenoid is the largest magnet ever built. Uh, it's a four Tesla magnet, but it's huge. It's bigger than this room. And in, if the magnet actually curves charged particles. So uh, charged particles curve in this magnetic field. So if we can track where they go, we can measure how much energy or momentum they have. Most of the particles that we create don't stay around for a while. They decay, okay? And so we're trying to build what's essentially a big camera to take pictures of these collisions. These experiments that we're running uh, the world around, uh, they are the place to be in particle physics. This is the energy frontier. This is where everyone wants to be. Most of the time, our research is not directly coupled to applications. There may be spin-offs, for instance, the magnets used in our accelerators. Uh, a lot of that development for the accelerators to uh, use these magnets helped build your MRI magnet that you go to the hospital to use. So I can point to many things in the past. Okay, so uh, over a hundred years ago the electron was discovered. Okay, now we use the electron in electronics every day, the semiconductor, okay? That's quantum mechanics. People say, well, how do we know quantum mechanics is there? Oh, well, I have a transistor. I, I know how to use a transistor. So understanding all of this revolutionized. Uh, most of the technology you have has to start somewhere. And so I can't tell you what you're going to have in 20 years, but I, I always think of the beam me up Scotty from the old Star Trek, uh, you know. That implies that you understand how mass works, okay? I'm not going to tell you you're going to be beamed up. I'm not sure that's even possible, but you can look at all sorts of science fiction scenarios and try and figure out where you could be, and that's all got to start with understanding where you are.